and welcome to another edition of American in Poland. Today we're joined by the lovely Natalia. Hi there. That you've had a chance to watch our adventure to Prague. And if you haven't, you can click the link that is above and you can watch our two episode series yeah. of when we went to Prague. We show you how to take the train from Warsaw to Prague on one train. And uh, it's a lot of fun. You can uh, do the restaurant. Yes, for example. <laughs> and, or you can bring your own coffee or whatever you want, <laughs> however you want to travel. <laughs> And we showed you some of the like the best places that you could visit when you go to Prague. Of course, that's for summer travel. And today, this episode is going to be dedicated to um, visiting the Warsaw um, Old Town. Yes. For the holidays. Yes. And look at Moxie. She's so cute. She has her little red outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Moxie's like, I'm done. I'm done with this Pollywood. So. Yeah. Today we're gonna to take you to Christmas Market in Warsaw. Yay! And I have to say that the Warsaw Christmas Market, let's just be honest, mm -hmm. it's not like the Vienna Christmas Market or I don't know, like a Christmas Market in Germany, for example, which is like renowned for its Christmassy markets and even Christmas shops where you can buy Christmas, like German Christmas stuff all year long. And it's not like that. Like so, that. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just show you how you can get around Warsaw and get to the Christmas market. And usually it's open at the end of November yeah. and then it stays open a little bit past Christmas. Mm -hmm. So you've got some time. I'm gonna go ahead in the bottom here, link um, the Warsaw tourism industry stuff so that you can kind of research it yourself so you have exact dates and times and everything but it's a real big must warsaw is actually one of the most beautiful european cities mm -hmm. as far as holidays are concerned regardless if it's for hanukkah or if you celebrate christmas like warsaw is the absolute best place as far as financially yeah. um, you know you can really get a lot for your buck um, or Euro <laughs> by coming to <laughs> Warsaw and still having that whole like Christmassy, you know, experience. Um, but yeah, Warsaw like spares no expense when it comes to lights. So we are so excited to show you everything. So another thing that we would like to do is we want to say some recommendations to you mm -hmm. on what you should wear, especially if you're a lady mm -hmm. and you're like trying to think of like, okay, what should I pack? to come to the Christmas market in Warsaw. Um, Natalia is going to model for us um, some general ideas of what you probably should bring. Um, All right, now let's start off with a big, thick, long sweater with lots of layers underneath. Finally, some good shoes, a warm hat, you're gonna need this, and finally, a thick coat with a shell leg or scarf to boot. Wrap that around you and you're good to go. Um, so these are just gonna be some helpful hints and hopefully you can come up with your own great plan of what you'd like to wear and that it works out and then you just have a fabulous time at the Christmas market. Finally, last tip of the day is that if you're gonna be taking public transit, which probably you're going to, we recommend the Yachta yes. Yadao mm -hmm. application and I will link it down there for you. This is a great public transit application. It's not just for war, so you can use it in Krakow, Gdańsk. Mm -hmm. Most cities are using, in Poland, are mm -hmm. using Yachta Yadao and you can buy your tickets, you can, validate your tickets you can use all the metros and everything so it's really really good to have this on you especially on a day like this where it's super cold outside and you don't want to walk a million miles maybe you want to walk half a million miles <laughs> having a bus is your best friend yeah so without further ado we're going to quit talking and we're going to take you onto the bus and take you downtown and we can't wait to show you the christmas market Let's go! Let's go!
Okay, so we're on the bus and here we go. We found ourselves a good place to get off because the routes have changed due to the Nobis shop being closed. But it's okay, because look, you get a cute window display along the way. All right, we're here like at this Rondo Palma, this Jerusalem street area. If you can hear us, there's a lot of traffic. Okay, it's quiet for now. And we're about ready to cross the street over to Novi Shviat. Oh, you. You're just gonna love seeing all the light. Okay, here we are on Novi Shviat. So glad to be back here. And we're gonna walk down this beautiful light. It's like a display. They have the road blocked off to public transit. Yeah. So you can walk really safely and pop in for some coffee someplace, maybe a ponchki, who knows. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and walk ourselves down to the old town and to the market. Okay, so we're here at the Old Town, and unfortunately, the giant fat Warsaw Christmas tree, if you're into Christmas trees, it's not lit right now, because it's gonna be lit for um, a special holiday next week, which is a holiday we don't, usually don't celebrate in the United States. It's pretty much a European holiday, but for sure, it's a Polish holiday. And it is Shanti Mikowai, or Mikowaiki. But we're not here for the Christmas tree. It's supposed to be just a part of the decoration to make it special for everyone. Instead, we're gonna go in this direction towards the old city wall. And that's where you'll find Warsaw's Christmas market. Exactly. And to my knowledge, I don't think they have any other Christmas markets besides this one. And like I said, it's not like the size of the one in Krakow or Wrocław, but it is very nice and yeah. it has a lot of cool stuff. So. Without further ado, let's go to the Christmas market. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Looks like we're here and we've made it. <laughs> uvaga, uvaga. There's a ton of people here. Oh yeah, exactly. So make sure, girls, also with your bags that you uh, close them <laughs> and, and safe. Yeah, yeah. Close your bags and lock them for pickpockets. <laughs> Travel tip. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you some of the food they got here in the market. It's good, so good, and so Polish. Yeah. All right, we're starting strong with some osypki from the Zakopane area, and you know it's the best when you put this like hot. Jurovina on top of it. Mm -hmm. Next, we've got some chimney cake, which is not an original Polish thing, but man, we sure enjoy it here in Poland. And they are hot and delicious. Next on the list is Polish zapikanka. It's like a little pizza, and they are delicious. They're being made fresh here, and they've got tons of delicious ingredients for you to choose from. Oh, Kokosova, oh my gosh. Chocolata. Wow. Oh my gosh, if you're a baklava, this is like Georgian and stuff up here. Yeah, yeah. Georgian stuff, turkey. <gasps> what? What? Uh -uh. No. Here's a stall where you can get some original Polish street food like kielbasa, smallets, pickles. Oh my goodness, it looks so delicious. You don't want to miss this. What in the world is this stuff? So, these uh, little piece of bread are called uh, chabureki, and they're from Crimea, actually, uh, originally from Crimea. And this is basically a bread, 
uh, with uh, a meat or something uh, with a meat, for example, a carrot, uh, an onion, and you know this kind of meat, and they are, um, you know, like closed. And look how beautiful they look. Oh my gosh, they're huge. Yes. It's a yes, shame that they are cold. huge. <laughs> Basically, there's something here for just about anyone. You've got breads and homemade goods. And also, I want to say that along the way, you can find these little like enclaves where you can take your sweets and treats and eat them. Now, let's move on to more practical things like trinkets and gifts. And here we found ourselves some nice warm socks or skarpetki as they're called in Polish, and they're super cute. I'm really digging this kitty cat one that Natalia has found. And furs, uh, yes, if you're into that, maybe that's a good thing for you. And these cute little, little shoes for babies. One of my favorite things to do when I go to a Christmas market is I love to see their ornaments. And I love to buy ornaments for my family. Um, it's a nice keepsake, and they can kind of know that it's special because it's from Poland, <laughs> pretty much. And Polish um, bumpki, yeah, they're the best. I love Perniki, different kinds, different designs. Oh wow, look at this one. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks so good. And by the way, this is how we say Merry Christmas in Polish. Yeah. So it's what shrap. Uwaga, uwaga. Very carefully. There we go. I think that's good for now. Yeah. I think we should end this vlog. <laughs> and go get some like hot to drink, like hot chocolate or something. I'm going to swing this around so you can see. Oh, how Christmassy this is. Where's Natalia at? Where's that Natalia? Where is she at? Hello. <laughs> she is. So we'll swing this around. Hope we're not making you sick. But can you see all the cool stuff back here? The lights are going to be all turned on next week. Yeah. And people are just chilling and drinking probably some hot tea and yeah. the hot wine stuff mm -hmm. and you know you can smell it definitely you can smell it, it smells so good <laughs> it's December in Warsaw yeah. alright so yeah we want to say thank you so much for sticking around with us and uh, make sure to click that subscribe button for more travel adventures in Poland and outside, outside. of Poland <laughs> Uh, dużo bardzo ciekawych i korzystnych informacji. Także welcome. <laughs> Jackua. <laughs> and thank you guys. Bardzo dziękuję. Uh, naprawdę na oglądać mój kanał i mój filmiki i odcinek. Mam nadzieję, że wyglądasz więcej. So we send you big warm greetings from Warsaw and wherever you're celebrating, whether it's Hanukkah, Christmas, yeah. whatever, we hope that your family is happy and safe and you guys just have a wonderful holiday season. Exactly. All right, so, do widzenia. Do widzenia, see ya. Bye.